All right, so the last thing I want to show you in this demo is how to create or how to show Project Fork in your front end. You can create a new menu altogether, or you can set Project Fork as your default template. Um, first thing you want to do is go to Config, and you want to go to Front End Settings and make sure that it is selected to hide the Joomla template. Okay, so it's, uh, it's already selected for me. Um, we're going to go to Menus, Main Menu, and we're going to create a new menu. Cool thing about uh, Joomla 1.7 is that the menu type is really easy to select from here. Um, we'll select Project Fork, give it a menu title, we'll call this Projects, and keep an alias, and keep everything the same. We'll say Save and Close, Menu Item Successfully Saved, and well, let's go to the front end and see projects is in there. If we go here, we're going to see welcome guest. Um, we don't have access to anything pretty much. So we want to create a login module. So let's go back. We'll go to extensions, module manager, create new, create a login module, give it a title, just say login. Position this to Project Fork Control Panel Main. So PF underscore Control Panel underscore Main. You'll actually have to type that in. Uh, publishes public, um, and we can keep everything exactly the same. Show on all pages. And we'll click Save and Close. Now we'll go to the front end, refresh. Now we see a login module. Here we can log in. And we should have access to everything now. Go to projects, task, see all of our tasks, and do everything that we can do uh, in the back end, we can do in the front end, so long as we have access to these sections. All right. So that is how to show um, Project Fork as a menu. Okay, again, let's just go back to the home page, and here's projects as a main menu. All right, let's set up projects as the default menu or the default template altogether. All we need to do is go to your menu manager, main menu, and we select projects as default. Come here, refresh, and there we go. We're set up. And that's all done. And that is just a quick demo of how to get started with Project Fork.